The following is a bridal extravaganza paid presentation. Getting married or know someone who is? Well, stay tuned because the next 30 minutes we're going to show you everything you need to plan the wedding of your dreams, all right here in one place in downtown Houston. Engagement is such an exciting time. The coming months will be full of showers, shopping, planning, and parties. It's time to really think about you two as a couple and celebrate. Get ready for your new life together. First things first, you'll have to set a date. And in a city this big, there are so many options. Then you'll need your location, your dress, your cake, your flowers, your invitations, and your party favors. You don't have to drive all over town meeting with vendors. We bring them all together for you in one central location, the Bridal Extravaganza Show. I've just gotten started. I got engaged about um, six weeks ago, so I'm in the beginning stages. It's, uh, it's kind of overwhelming, though. In a good way? In a good way. Yes, I love it. As far as ideas, that's why I'm here. The place was really important to me. Selecting your location is important, but you can't do that until you know the number on your guest list. So sit down with your fiance and make a list. Compare it to your budget and pare it down. When you get that number, that will help you decide the location. And once you choose it, here's a tip. Some of the best locations book out a year and a half in advance. So when you find the location you want, secure it today. If you're getting married at a church or a religious facility, sit down with your priest, minister, or rabbi and be sure to go over any restrictions or obligations. And then book your date. And are you going on a honeymoon? I am. You, will you go out of town, do you know? Hopefully, entered a lot of drawings, so maybe we'll get a free one here. <laughs> you have to have a honeymoon. But you know what? You can do more than just honeymoon. You can actually travel and plan your whole wedding. Tell me about Destination Weddings. Well, we recommend Destination Weddings to all our brides because that's a stress-free way of having your family together and um, spending time on the beach, relaxing. You don't have any uh, problems with food, drinks, or organizing anything. We, we set them up with wedding coordinators, and by the time they get there, everything's all arranged for them. Are they usually tropical? Yes, yes. And we, what we is the average? We specialize in destination weddings in the Caribbean and Hawaii. What would you say to other brides out there that maybe don't know about this show? They definitely need to come. This is my second time coming, and my um, date is not till October 8th next year, but I'll be coming every single time. It's just a good way to, you know, if you have vendors, you can talk to them, get a face-to-face, -face, let them know who you are and what your ideas are, so. Are you tired of driving all over town looking for vendors? Well, no more missed appointments, no more driving all over town. The Bridal Extravaganza is your one-stop shop for everything bridal. All the vendors you need right here in one place. Registering is easy. Simply fill out the beige card and take it to a hostess. You'll receive your ticket book. This ticket book is gold. It is good for $1,000 shopping sprees and honeymoons, but you have to enter to win. And don't forget your goodie bag. Inside here, we've got a program book. This book contains specials available only here at the show. You can avoid most of the lines by purchasing online. How about this tip? Get here early. You can be one of the first people to secure the vendor you want for the date that you request. It's all fun and games here at the Owls Formal Wear booth where if you're lucky, you can win a bear, but so much more. A great deal on the tuxedo for your big day. A store where every bride is treated like a princess. The Princess Bridal is sure to have the perfect gown for you. Check out these hot runway fashions.
that I didn't even think about. That you can, I mean, all the little details, and this just gives you all the ideas rather than having to go. search it out. Right. Come to one place, find out about everything, get all your ideas and plan. You may think you don't need a wedding planner. That's because you haven't met the team at Schwartz and Woodward. I'm here with them today at the Bridal Extravaganza. Tell us what brides are looking for when they look for a consultant. Well, Lorette, brides are coming to the show because they want to come and see what's available. They read all the magazines, they see all the television programs, but where else can you go but the bridal extravaganza to see everything that there is to offer if you're planning your wedding? We have appointments with brides and I walk them around the show, introducing them to vendors, introducing them to people that I know are going to provide good quality services what I offer to them is that no matter what your style is, no matter what your budget is, the bridal extravaganza offers it. So when a bride has decided, yes, I'm ready to work with a consultant, what is that next step? What do you hope they know? When they come, we sit down and we interview them. We go over what their vision is. Uh, we talk about colors, we talk about linens, the food selection, the photographer, the music, the band, everything from soup to nuts, we want to help them with. We are with them from the moment they get engaged to the moment they walk out the door, and we have planned some honeymoons. Never been invited to go yet, but we have helped them. Let your flower arrangements tell a story about you. Princess Kate's bouquet was a shield-shaped collection of myrtle, lily of the valley, sweet william, ivy, and hyacinth. The myrtle sprigs were from the actual plants grown from the myrtle used in the wedding bouquets of Queen Victoria in the 1840s and Queen Elizabeth in 1947. What symbolism will your flower arrangement hold on your big day? I walked in and realized it is a one-stop shop for wedding planning, so it's pretty exciting. What are you looking to accomplish today? Flowers? Cake? I, I really want to look at flowers. What brought you here today? My engagement, finally. Really excited about it and ready to see all the new vendors. It's crazy. I mean, there's so many things to see. Let's talk themes and decorations. Depending upon the location you've selected, you can deck it out or you can have your reception as is. A decorator will work with your location to create the theme you desire. Walking down the aisles of the Bridal Extravaganza show, you'll see colors, themes, and more. You're sure to find inspiration here. You might not realize that you need to order linens for your event. Well, we have many, many specialists here at the Bridal Extravaganza. With me today is Jill Vidal from Elegant Beginnings. Jill, what's new in linens this season? Well, we are experimenting with a lot of different ideas with the chairs, actually. We offer fitted chair covers, foam back fitted chair covers. We like to do sashes, tie them in a specific way to tailor it to that individual bride's personality. So what do you wish every bride knew before she met with you? If every bride would come with a color or a couple of color ideas, their reception venue with the table sizes in case we don't have it on file, and a general layout of, of what their basic wants and needs are. It really helps us customize a design that fits best for their personality. And can you give me some background on your linens? Where do they come from? We manufacture everything in-house. We launder everything in-house. Basically, everything is Elegant Beginnings original. We buy our fabrics and custom make mini chair backs or sashes, runners, to complement that bride's personality and what her personal idea is for her wedding. The personalized linens at the Bridal Extravaganza show. Just one other awesome opportunity that you'll find only at the Bridal Extravaganza. The world marveled at the simple elegance displayed at William and Kate's royal wedding. Some traditions continued, others were born, and personal styles prevailed. For example, the simple act of placing trees in Westminster Abbey allowed Kate and William's guests and the world to appreciate the happy couple's love for the outdoors. What will your decorations say about you? Locally owned and locally operated, Ventura's Bridal hits the runway to show you what they've selected for this season.
Now I see why fashion shows are the number one reason that brides attend bridal shows. Did you see something you liked? I'm sure you did. Well, there's more to come. And have you watched any of the fashion shows? Yes, we have. What do you think of the fashion shows? Great. They're very entertaining as well as very informative of what vendors have what dresses and such. And the dresses were gorgeous, the shoes were to die for, and it was all perfect. Came to get ideas um, to look at gowns. I haven't gotten my dress yet. I tried on some. I have one in mind. I have to go find it though. So you don't have a gown or anything? No. <laughs> do you have a night where are you doing big or small? Medium, about 200, so. Another exciting element at the bridal extravaganza is the chance to meet designers face to face. We also have lots of special guests on hand you'll meet only at the extravaganza. It's really exciting being at the largest bridal show in the world, I think, in the country at least, and nobody does it bigger than America, and nobody does it bigger than Texas, so it's really exciting to be here. Thank you, beautiful. Hello, Houston! What I'm hoping that brides will take away from today is three things. I hope they feel a little more educated about bridal fashion, about how to go about choosing a bridal gown. Number two, I want to elevate their self-confidence. And number three, I want to empower them to be able to go through this process and without the stumbling blocks. So that's what I want them to take away. The fact that every single human being on this planet is beautiful. And when they go in to choose their gown, that they feel that way. The number one tip I would give brides is to make your wedding personal and about the couple. It really should be a reflection of what their story is and who they are. Every single couple has an intimate and unique and personal story that they need to tell to their guest. And it needs to be a reflection of their style, their taste level, and the things that they love. Another great thing about the Bridal Extravaganza show, you can meet some international stars. This is Jorge Perez. He is the international spokesperson for Waterford and Wedgwood. But Jorge, what do you tell new brides when you meet them? You know, it's an incredible time in their lives. And, and I have to say first, it's such a pleasure to be here in Houston to help celebrate this most momentous occasion in her life. And of course, representing Bed Bath & Beyond and the registry. And, you know, while she's thinking about the dress, the cake, the venue, the photographer, we're about life after her wedding. You know, this is a great time in her life to gather up all those things that she's going to need for her future. And she's not thinking about them because, you know, her future is tomorrow's breakfast. So um, this part of the industry is really great because she gets to collect her dinnerware, stemware, flatware, bedware, kitchen stuff, all the things she's never going to buy for her first home together. And that first home might not be for the future. So again, we're here to educate her uh, because, you know, rarely does she go into those departments in the store. And now she gets to walk in and scan every gift that she's going to want forever. So it's a great, great time in your life. So I recommend that every single bride, the moment you get engaged, go and register. What kind of bride are you? Modern, conservative, casual, or formal? Your gown will set the tone for the entire event. And the best way to select your style is to watch as many fashion shows as you can. As you see the various styles on stage, you can envision how they might look on you. There are formal fashion shows every hour on the hour at the Bridal Extravaganza. I'm Lauren Lanning with the Bridal Extravaganza Show. And although it looks like we're in a nightclub, we're actually here in the Couture Lounge. And this is where the brides experience Really begin. They'll start by walking a red carpet to check in and then come right here to gather and receive a glass of champagne. And after that, a live musician will take them through the couture section where they will take their seats for the fabulous couture runway show. Now, if this sounds like something that you'd be interested in, go to www.thebridalextravaganzashow.com. And keep in mind, this event always sells out. And what do you think of the fashion show? I thought it was just wonderful. There were so many different styles to choose from. And when you're ready to shop for a gown, here are some of my personal tips. Check out the fashion at the Bridal Extravaganza. Try on a gown at the show. Make an appointment and shop at the salon. Take one trusted friend. Try on gowns that you think you won't like. You'll be surprised. And be prepared to use your imagination. You'll be trying on samples. They're not going to fit you perfectly. And also allow enough time. If you choose a designer gown, sometimes you need up to six months to order it for the big day. A bride always wants to look like a graceful princess. Kate showed off her grace by styling her gown after American-born actress Grace Kelly, who wed Prince Rainier of Monaco in the 1950s. And that's not all the two brides shared in common. Both were commoners prior to marrying their princes. What will your gown say about you?
How did you hear about the show? Through him. He told me he saw it on the internet, yep. right? Yeah. Your man should look his best too. At the Bridal Extravaganza, the show specials can help you plan ahead and save money. I'm so excited every time I receive a wedding invitation in the mail. The invitation is so important. It sets the tone for your entire event, and you'll find many samples at the Bridal Extravaganza. As soon as you get engaged and your venues are been secured with a contract, you want to start looking at invitation ideas, colors, um, how formal the wedding should be, and that should be conveyed on the wedding invitations. That's very key. Try to put the wordings to match your color selection and then the tone or the formality of the wedding. A save the date is not compulsory, however, it's a good benefit to your guests because now more and more guests are planning the rest of their year in advance, and you want to make sure that you get on their schedule very early so they can be at your wedding. Choosing a location is extremely important, and here at the Bridal Extravaganza Show, we have lots and lots of facilities for you to meet on a one-on-one -on -one basis. With me today is Nancy with Butler's Courtyard. Nancy, what are brides looking for this season? I think they're looking for customer service. I think they want all-inclusive. I think they want someone to guide them through the process that has experience. Um, I think they want the elegance, but they want a controlled environment. We're a venue that has, uh, the building was built in 1909 very historic. We call it historic elegance. We are all inclusive. We do the cakes, the food, the DJ setup, security, everything for the bride. She's going to plan with us from the minute she comes in until the day of her wedding and then that person's going to be there 13 hours with her on wedding day, making sure everything goes the way she wants it to go. It's her day, not ours. Is there a favorite thing that you've seen here today? Yes, I love, which cake did I love? Oh, this is kind of going to be similar to my cake, the design, but I'm having a black and white wedding. So it's going to be the black design, but it's going to be the four tier square. Your cake can match your theme, your cake can match your invitations, it can even match the lace in your gown. Or you can just use it to really make a statement. It'll be in every picture, so it's an important decision. Here are some tips to make sure you find the perfect piece of cake. This is a beautiful style. Reminds me of an antique lace, very delicate, tiny gum paste flowers overlaid on a buttercream. Very popular. And would this match the dress, perhaps? Yes, okay. absolutely. And how about the, oh, these flowers? This is our signature cake. It has all handmade edible gum paste sugar flowers. The bride can bring in a swatch of her color and we create the entire cake to match her cooked decor. This is a, a little more modern, has beautiful bows, presents, mixed shapes, very popular for the brides. It can be in traditional colors or something a little more whimsical. The half and half white and chocolate is very popular for brides that want to combine the brides and the groom's cake together. What's the most important thing to well, know when they're ordering a cake? We want to know how many people they're having. We want to know their color theme. And how far ahead would you like them to place their order? Typically, brides should book at least six months in advance because some weekends we do get extremely busy because everything is made fresh to order. They don't want to lose their day. Once you have a theme, meet with a professional cake artist so that your cake can match your theme. Visit the Bridal Extravaganza Show Cake Gallery for inspiration. One of the best things about the Bridal Extravaganza is that you actually get to taste samples. Now what is this? This is the Bavarian Cheesecake. Bavarian Cheesecake. Mm. It's, not it's not ice cream, it's Bavarian Cheesecake. Mm. I'll take this one. We're looking for a photographer. To preserve your memories, it's imperative to select the right photographer. You'll want to be comfortable with your choice. At the Bridal Extravaganza Show, you can meet photographers face to face. Weddings are going high tech. I'm sitting inside a photo booth and your guests can too. But what are they going to dance to on the dance floor? Think outside the box. Here are some tips on what to look for when booking a DJ. 
we talk about the entire event. How do you want to be introduced? Who would you like introduced? I think those are really important. Uh, the sequence of events, do you want to come right in and do your first dance? And once we work out the itinerary, we will take you by the hand and work you through the wedding day. You know, weddings, they go by so quickly and we want to capture every moment for you and uh, keep them uh, having a good time, keep the energy level high, and get, let the guests know what's about to happen before it happens. We request if they would please put together 20 songs of their favorites. We want to know their favorites. You know, we, you can play all of her favorite songs and she'll just enjoy themselves. But when you play that one song that just really irks them, it kind of can turn them into, you know, in a bad mood. Playlists are important. Don't playlists, probably more important. stuff, decorations, jewelry, I mean everything. I haven't really done that much yet, so I'm just here to look at everything. I'm overwhelmed. Far, yeah, <laughs> very overwhelmed. Lots to, lot to check at. out. Yeah, I don't have a date set or anything. Set? Not, nothing set. I just got engaged like a week ago. It looks, seems very organized, so it's really helpful. Like, it's very easy to walk around and find stuff, and the raffles are great. Never quite been anything like it. Hopefully never have to go again. Right now it's great because we finally got to row 1200 <laughs> and we've only been here seven hours. <laughs> Are you tired of driving all over town looking for vendors? Well, no more missed appointments, no more driving all over town. The Bridal Extravaganza is your one-stop shop for everything bridal. All the vendors you need right here in one place. What did you think of the show when you first walked in? No, I was kind of surprised. I wasn't expecting to really enjoy it, um, but I'm really having a blast. I've seen a lot of great things, um, came up with some great ideas. Everyone's been real helpful. It's just been awesome experience. And it's been a tradition for years at the Bridal Extravaganza Show. After every formal fashion show, we toss prizes into the audience. Brides only, please. Brides, have you ever imagined your face on a billboard? Well, it can happen to you. We choose a new billboard bride for each and every bridal extravaganza show. Just head on down to the show and sign up. Here is what one of our new winners had to say. Well, I signed up for the bridal extravaganza because my mom was in town and we went together and I just saw the booth and I signed up and then I got a call back a couple weeks later. I kind of forgot about it after I signed up. When I got the phone call, I was confused because I didn't really even remember signing up. So um, I didn't put a lot of thought into it by any means. So I was really surprised. I was excited. First, I had an interview. So I went into Ventura's Bridal, and I had just about a 15-minute interview there. It was just really short. And then the next couple days, I was I found out um, that I was the, the chosen Billboard bride. I I was like, oh my gosh, should I call my mom right away and my family? and Garrett, so it was really cool. My friend Brittany was in the car with me and she was like, oh my gosh, Erica, look! And so I was freaking out. I thought I ran a red light or I thought I did something wrong on the road. And I looked up and it was a billboard. I've actually had a couple strangers um, come up to me and say, are you on a billboard? Which I never thought would happen because to me, it, I look a little different on the billboard. My fiance is on the Texans team. It's nice to have that billboard. Not that we're competitive that way, but it's kind of a running joke in our circle that, you know, I have billboards now, so you can't, you know, I, I, I can come back at him with something when, when I look at his playing cards, so it's funny. I'm thankful my mom was in town because I was leaving to go to come here in running shorts and a t-shirt, and my mom was like, Erica, why don't you put on something a little nicer? So I think if, if I were to uh, come, come to this show with the hopes of being a billboard bride, I would you know, wear something presentable, maybe wear my hair the way I want, and be ready because anything can happen. That's right, brides, it can happen to you. Just head down to the show and sign up. You could be our next Billboard Bride. And stay tuned for more bridal extravaganza excitement. And my final tip, get in shape. Did you know that 95% of brides plan to get in better shape before the wedding? Most of all, as you plan your wedding, try to remain calm and keep a sense of humor. Something will go wrong and it'll be okay. Because after all, it's about creating memories that will last a lifetime. So be sure to log on to www.bridalextravaganzashow.com to receive your free gift. 
Every bride will receive this free planning tool, a copy of H Texas Weddings mini magazine, around a month before show date. Very easy, very fast. You get your package in about a week and everything's all ready for you. So when you come here, you just hand them your ticket and you're ready to go. Pretty easy. Just go on their website and click. It's great. It's a great way to pick up a lot of information. What would you say to other guys out there, grooms? Do it. <laughs> Make the leave. Definitely come. It's worth it. <laughs> she needed to go. She needs all the help she can get. Bridal Show is a great place to really do everything you need under one roof. It's great to come with your list, with all the tear sheets that you've collected, a great friend, someone with a great point of view. You can shop for a dress, shop for a cake, shop for a videographer, shop for a photographer. It's a really great place to do all the details that you need to do in one easy weekend. This show is amazing. It has a plethora of vendors in each of the categories. It's spaced beautifully, uh, very well represented of all the industries that come together to support this business. So again, you know, thumbs up here to the uh, Bridal Extravaganza, definitely one of the very best shows I've ever been to. So head on down to the George R. Brown where you'll find everything you need under one roof. Grab your maid of honor, grab your bridesmaids, grab your mom and bring the groom. Oh, and don't forget to wear comfortable shoes. This is a big space. So log on to www.bridalextravaganzashow.com. Sign up for your free gift. We'll see you at the show. I'm Lorette Varis, your host. This has been a bridal extravaganza paid presentation.